What do we have here? It's, it is Friday. We are cooking. We are celebrating a whole bunch of wonderful summer foods today, including fresh basil. Look at this harvest. Oh, it's beautiful. Uh, it, I would like to say that I got this from Alan's garden because that was the plan, is that we were going to harvest Alan's basil and tomatoes and do a show you know, one week too late. You know, Palm Springs, it gets a little hotter sooner. So we're celebrating basil today. Our promo code is basil25. 25% 25 off everything at suzannesummers.com. It's not already oh my God. discounted basil more 25. than 25%. If you're new to us, um, I'm Caroline Summers. This is my daughter, Camellia. This is my daughter, Violet. My niece, Daisy, uh, requested to be behind the camera to start, but she'll be out here eating and hey guys. Us. We are gonna start by making Zanny's famous pesto oh, recipe. Mm. So, um, so let's get Take notes, you guys. Right away. Um, when you're making- Everything over here just smells Yeah, great. it smells too good. Smells I'm just gonna save a little so we have mm. some garnish. And, what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna take off the the big fat part of the stems, but the rest you can actually use in the in the pesto. So here we go. Just the big cut off. Now the rest of this, this is, is the best so part of Zanny's mm. pesto recipe is oh. that, sorry, wind down. <laughs> um, you blanch Plenty. the pest the basil. And the reason we do that is because when you blanch it, it stays bright green. I have to pull out my non-humiliating pulp of the fruit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, it stays bright green, and it, then your your pesto will not turn black. So wait, it that's genius. Boiling water, just for about you know 30 seconds to a minute. Oh, just 30 seconds. Yes, and then you have to have your water bath ready to go, which I do. The microphones are both facing me. Oh, oh turn, <laughs> turn them around. Um, okay, so we have our ice, our ice water bath ready here. We're changing the microphones, you guys. Don't you worry. Okay, that's it. Okay. Wow, that already looks beautiful. And you get your spider strainer. If you don't have a spider strainer, I highly recommend this because when you cook your pasta. This is the way you want to strain it so that you keep that pasta water. Okay, so into, there we go. Okay, we're done with this. Now, we're just going to let this cool off. I'm gonna scooch right here, Daisy. We're just, ooh, she's still hot in there. Okay, we're just gonna let this cool off for, we move the orange water. We're gonna let this cool off just for a moment. Okay. And here's what happened. This is what blanching does. Blanching locks in the color. So with any vegetable that you want to blanch, one should be, that should be enough okay, for okay. it. Okay. Um, when any vegetable that you blanch will stay pop and bright green with this method. Pop you cook, green. You cook it in boiling green. water <laughs> just for a moment, and then it's ready to toss into salads or you can stir fry it. But with basil, particularly good for this reason. Okay, so mm -hmm. finally, look at all these beautiful that? colors we're rocking with today. Oh yeah, so obviously we're talking about Infusio. Yes, we're talking about Infusio, our beautiful infused olive oils and balsamics because they will turn anyone into just an insanely great gourmet. Okay, I'm just gonna drop this in here. Ma, so yes, I'm right? thinking we could make watermelon Blended drinks. Oh my god! Wow. Okay, I but have there, it. Can I, I have it all one? cut? Okay. It's all cut and ready. And I can for you. use some of that. You may, because well, I perhaps what I need. Also, you guys, look at what Caroline does. Well, that yeah, that one is going to be our Napoleon, but oh, this was the extra. Good. I'm so happy it's getting used. Of course, it's me, and it's a Friday. Okay, so do you see? I'm just squeezing the water out of this. I got this. Are you using oh, this mint so as well? Um, how about it, honey? Great. Everyone's talking about how much they love the oils. They're so good. The infusio oils are infusio amazing. Oils. The There's oils make you seem like you are a good cook. Well, they just make everything taste extra delish. No, but you can be not that great of a chef and use the oils, and people actually think that you are an incredible chef because it it's makes... True. All you have to do is get lettuce and then just put balsamic and olive oil on it, and people will freak out. I've never seen so many people freak out over this... It's true. Combination before. You guys chime in with your favorite infusio. Yeah. <laughs> Toasted in. pine nuts. We're adding those here. Yum. 
You can always add more. Um, Zanny liked a lot of pine nuts. I also I like them. Yes. Yeah. Um, then we're adding some fresh parsley. Now Ooh. you'll notice we're using the Italian flat parsley. The curly parsley is good if you're making like tabbouleh, but otherwise I use flat parsley. And you can see like how much that um, basil reduced here. So we need some salt and pepper, Violet. So good amount of salt. Someone says, what oil do you recommend to try first? The oh, Meyer lemon. lemon. Meyer we, lemon. We got to say Meyer lemon. I said that before. You that was a it was, yeah. If it was Blood still in oil. stock. Yeah. That yeah. one's always out of stock because it's, it's so good. Am I allowed to do it? Elaine's favorite. Sure. You want to do it? No, you, but you're going to need more pepper than that. Okay. Oh, and well, also we need a little garlic. So you can start with one. This is a pretty big batch. So I love garlic. I'm going to give you a little extra and then... I'm also, because it's summer, I'm going to add lemon Ooh. zest. Because all of these women here and one man do not eat cheese. So pesto is great without the cheese. So we're going to be making this without cheese. And then, of course, Jesus. I have all of my beautiful grated Reggiano Parmigiano, which is the only real Parmesan cheese. Um, and I have that ready for, you know. Are you ready for the oil? I'm ready. You're gonna need quite a bit of oil because people are wondering why you don't blanch the parsley. Um, it, because it doesn't brown. Uh, there you go. Basil turns black. So if you've ever made your own homemade pesto, and you need more than that, honey. Um, if you've ever made your own and you're try that, um, and you're shocked when you go in the refrigerator and the whole top is black, mm. try this blanch. This is my favorite part. Okay, so this is just a stick blender. Everyone always asks. It's by Breville, but there are many on the market. Is this what we got for Daisy? Yep. Yeah. We got for Christmas. Yeah, because Daisy it? loves soup. You can also do this in a food processor or a blender, but I have to say, I don't want my gut renew smoothies to taste like garlic, so that's why I just prefer this. Cup. Do you need a, a trade on this? I do soon. Okay. Um, I don't know where your dress is from, and they're saying how beautiful. That's so sweet. I'm not telling unless I get paid. <laughs> <laughs> She's gatekeeping. So you can tell the brand to me, and I will. Tell you. How are they gonna know? If they don't know the brand. I just I'm building up to this. So follow me on TikTok if you want to know where the dress is. Violet Summers five. Violet Summers five. Why are you five? They're that one. The other Violet. I, I have no clue. It's just Violet Summers five. That's actually tiny. Okay. So this is coming together nicely. I'm, I'm going to give a little more oil because I like it a little looser. Some things we like loose. Okay, okay this is coming together. Oh, guess what? It's from the same brand. <gasps> Wait, don't tell them. I'm not. We'll reveal I everything on TikTok tonight. <laughs> um. Okay, so while Violet is doing that, she's on the stair. happening here. <laughs> this is the gluten-free pasta that you guys are always asking okay, me for so. the brand. It's ridiculously expensive, but it's really good. It's called Morelli. This okay. shape is called calamari, and maize e riso means corn and rice. It is gluten-free for all of my gluten-free people. Yes, Okay, um, somebody needs to break a daisy. Oh, so all the noise is hilarious. Sorry. There's a lot of that. Yeah. Her arms are burning. Are you a daisy? Well, I'm making this. Can we take, take this white thing off or no? No. I'll oh. try Okay, okay. It's a... Oh, oh. There's your break. Okay, be careful that the pesto doesn't tip. Okay, you ready? Violet? Here we go. I think it's probably done, but I'll check. This um, actually takes quite a while to cook, so I salted the water. I'm sweating from holding that camera. <laughs> How's this? 
look at the consistency now, guys. Let's see. Oh, it looks great. Okay, now we need to test for seasoning. I mean, that's still pretty thick. That looks I, so beautiful, too. I've never mm. seen such a beautiful pasta. Oh, my God, it's delicious. Yeah. It's seasoned plenty. Is what I call a free spirit? Oh, free, I love uh, it. spirits? Oh, that's so cute, Camilla. Mm. Is it good? That was really good. Okay, okay. one more. Yeah. <laughs> So just click this here, pull out the top. Okay, there oh, we go. Beautiful. I'm going to unplug this. Look at that. That's my favorite food. She gets so excited when she comes home. And my girls always say, they always say, is it me free? Me friendly. Is it me free? Yes. So that means, you know, my girls can't eat gluten, dairy, or eggs. But it doesn't mean that they don't get delicious food. Because, show them those oils and vinegars. They make everything tastes good. Okay, I'm about to no, do some didn't. assembly now. You're doing assembly? Well, I'm making a beautiful go. drink over here. Nice. You need some fresh mint sprigs. I have it blended in there. Nice. I know, to carnage. Oh, this is so pretty. Okay, so... Now that the pesto is made, Violet, can you repo to be here? Oh, well, mm -hmm. Maya's going to pour her drink. Oh, are you ready? You tell us when you're ready to There's pour. Not yet. I want to show them what she made me. Camelia made me this. I made Violet one without tequila. Without That's tequila. So nice. Called a free spirit. Free yeah. of spirit. Because she's, she's free spirited. Aww. But it's just, oh, uh, it's just ice cubes mm. and watermelon and mint. And a lot of lime blended in. And wow. honestly, it might be kind of good with some so sea salt, good. too. Oh, Ooh. of course, yeah. Should I add sea salt to it? I would uh, maybe salt the rim of the glass. Mmm. That's okay. so good. That pesto is really good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you guys, uh, mm -hmm. Violet, if you can come over here and make sure that I'm on camera. Okay. I am going to make, you know, a little twist on your typical caprese salad. So I started with all these beautiful heirloom tomatoes. You can see over here, V. No, just, just pan. Yeah, there you go. Just pan. Um, I have all different colors of the heirloom tomatoes, and then I got some of these small grape and cherry tomatoes. So I started with these here. Now I'm going to add some peaches. Mm. These are peaches and nectarines. Yum. And? I'm so excited to eat this. And oh, then Mary Lou said the best place to be is where Camilla is. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think so, That's too. That's cute. Okay, so these, I'm adding some cherries. Can you see that I actually pitted the cherries? Yeah. That's me. Guess what else I pitted cherries for? Zeta's cherry pie for some <laughs> Why? <laughs> he likes my cherry pie now. I know, but he he like forgot to thank mom all those years ago. It's been. A I know, but I'm. I, it's time. Cherry? It's time to be over it. Okay. Make okay. Zeta a cherry pie. All right. Okay, so this is beautiful. And Sonia yeah. said she couldn't cook without mm. these oils and vinegars. That's very true. I'm with you, Sonia. Okay, so I don't think I can put the cheese on here because really only Daisy can eat it. So I'm going to put the oil and vinegar and then oh, I'm going to... Oh, yeah, you can eat it too. It's yeah. just so pretty. Put it on okay. half. Okay. I'll put it on half. Okay, this is some burrata, which is this wonderful fresh cheese, obviously out of Italy. And burrata is, it has the casing of mozzarella and inside the strings of mozzarella that are soaked in cream. So yummy. So this one also has a little truffle in it, which was actually, it, it actually wasn't supposed to have the truffle in it and I picked up the wrong one. But you know what? I don't think anyone's gonna mad. be mad about Mom that. Here we go. Okay, there you go. Now, we need our salt and pepper. 
And then we're going in with these olive oils and the salt. The Please invest in a good quality sea salt. Oh, yeah. Are you in close on this, Violet? The pepper. Look at me, no mobile. Okay, and then I've decided for this that I'm going to use the basil mm. olive oil. Here we go. I think this is good. So again, this is a beautiful extra virgin olive oil, and it's yeah. just infused with the flavor of basil, with actual fresh basil, and it just gives that extra bit of spectacularness to your dish. This is the black cherry balsamic. This is a really beautiful glaze. Wait till you see what this does to your basic caprese. You just went crazy amazing. Look at this. Yeah. I want to add salt in there. I feel like salt would be good. It's not actually too salty. Okay. Because I didn't add salt. Who would like to try this gorgeous salad? Me, 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 me. Okay. Alright. Amazing. Who would like to go to the Four Seasons Orlando? <laughs> okay. Okay, guys. Well, I just made a spectacular drink. It's true. As and you know what would be really good in here? It's Friday. Honestly, where's the... Wait, where's the white... The white... Um, white peach. White peach. Oh, I don't have it. Mm. Uh, well, that would be good in here. Yeah. We have done that before. And Wait, it good call. It does taste amazing. We can mix all of them together. Let's see. Mmm. Mmm. Look how beautiful. Mm. So what'd you make, can I? Um, it's ice. <laughs> and, yeah. and watermelon and... Mint and then a little bit of your like mixer of juniper and lime and something. Oh, okay. And then like nice. seven limes and tequila. Nice. And it's delicious. Okay, I understand. Right? I understand. So, that's fun. <laughs> but it goes very well with this. It's, mm. it's light and refreshing. Gail says, You guys are tortured with food. Okay. Yeah. Daisy? You yes. You guys meeting okay. Caroline Summers. Yeah. And. That the beautiful, so the beautiful pesto. She always needs a garnish. Which face? Okay, here we go. All right, Daisy. Here I come. There's silverware right behind you. Okay, here you go. Stand right there. Hello, I am the professional eater here. Yeah, you might need a knife. Okay, I'm you know? gonna try to. Do you think I can get a little bit of everything in this? Wait, here, let me get a little knife so I can make a perfect bite. Okay, Thank I'm you, all Linda. about Linda, the perfect. Linda just wish me a happy Father's Day. Aww. Thanks, Linda. Oh, I haven't done Thanks, that yet. Thanks, Julie. Happy Father's Day, Dad. Oh, happy are you going to be here on Father's Day? No. <laughs> okay, a well, little bit of We can celebrate next week. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, a little bit of this. Thanks, Daddy. A little bit of pesto. A little bit of this. Okay, look at this bite. It's a little bit of everything. Damn, sister. That's good. Mm. Wait, do you guys know that Violet, as a snack, just eats herbs? <laughs> I just tried it. I just tried it, and it's actually quite good. There's a reason that this container is literally all the way full. <laughs> Those yeah. are for sale today, too. And it's because I eat this every night. <laughs> it's also 25% off with code BASIL25. Basil you could be like Violet eating spices my favorite, and salt. My that favorite one is, is really good. I love how it has lavender in it. Yeah. But... The Tuscan and the Southwest are really good too. I so use Tuscan. I guess just be aware that Violet's spit has been in here if you come over for dinner. I use the Tuscan to make the chicken today. You can always mm, find a right trail from hard. the bottle to Violet's room of little herbs. Wait, I understand. <laughs> Violet, I understand why you do this. Right? I just tried it for the first time because I always you just did that too. I mean, this one's really good too, Tuscan. Wait, the lavender. I want to try Tuscan. Tuscan. You could put a little on your tomatoes. Okay, maybe right I will. I would, I would do the, the Provence on Okay, that's Tons how you have Happy Father's Day to me and to Al. Thank you, everyone. Violet, love that dress, says Gail. Thank you. Okay, okay is it good, Dave? It's so good. Are you joking? Okay. I'm going to look All the flavors are delish. Camellia, if you want to make it the boys some tomatoes. I made it a mess. Okay. I'm the luckiest girl in the world. Can I? Do you want 
Do you want to serve the boys some salad? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Guys, one highly one recommend pesto. making this salad. This pesto is delicious. The balsamic is amazing. Is. Okay, is this for me? This one right here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can I try this? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, this sorry, so what good. am I making? I'm making. Mm -hmm. Isn't that good? The Mom, salad is Mom just delicious. lost all of her. Actually, like... I think that one was for me, Mom, but mm -hmm. that's okay. We can share. Oh, this one? I'm green. Okay, no, I'll put... I think I'm blue and you're. I'm yellow. Who is green? Wait, there is no yellow. You guys, I'm making a new dish. I'm blue. What are you making? I am now making a watermelon Napoleon. Wait, so I put this on here? You yes. put that on top, yeah. Yeah. Okay. You guys ready? Cheryl asked, what's in the pesto again? The pesto is blanched mm. basil. It's really good. Fresh parsley, toasted pine nuts, garlic, olive oil, salt and pepper. Is it just raw garlic? Yes. Okay. Yes. That's what gives it the break. And lemon yeah, zest. Yeah, it's so good. And lemon zest. Guys, this is actually one of the yummiest things yeah, I've ever had in my life. Whatever they want. And you know the nickname for garlic is Russian penicillin. Oh. Because back during the during the USSR days, they ran out of penicillin in Russia, mm -hmm. and everyone believes that garlic is just as powerful as fighting. Oh my God. Yeah. Okay. I'm not a doctor, so I don't know if that's true, but. You ready, Bruce? Here yes. we go. We're building. Okay, let me move my okay. Let's put it over. Okay, okay, so here's what's happening. Um, You're making a square. I made this up a few years back for Suzanne and Alan, and it was really... You invented like, this? I did. It was right. quite a hit. Um, so I have some ricotta cheese here. What is, what is it? What is it? Ricotta. Ricotta. What kind of cheese? I'm not going to say ricotta. <laughs> I am Italian. Okay, so this is just ricotta with salt and pepper. So you can also make this with... Fresh mozzarella. It is up to you. Isn't um, it mozzarella. Mozzarella. <laughs> um, so I'm, I think I'm going to do one of each. So I am making this a little caprese, a watermelon Napoleon. So I have this Look at beautiful that. Those leaf are Italian here. colors too. Uh, yes. <laughs> and then I'm going to put my cheese here. I think because of the colors, we can't call it a Napoleon. We have to call it like a Caesar or something. <laughs> Okay, I do like to season each layer, so I am going to. You like to season each layer? Salt and pepper. This is really the best pesto I've ever had. I'm so oh, glad. So Thank you. Okay, so now I'm going to add another watermelon. Damn. Another right? beautiful basil leaf. Those are it's okay if she comes out on the side. That's because, insane. That looks okay. beautiful. Here we go with the. Kiara says, dang, I'm dreaming of this so much. This can be your reality. Yeah. We're going to season. If you guys like watching me cook, I cook a lot on my handle, which is yeah. Caroline Summers. Highly recommend. Okay. You have to follow her. I'm not online. kidding. I haven't even tried this yet, but the, even just the way that it looks, like the olive oil what and balsamics make everything just taste magical. It, it is really delicious. Okay, so. The framing is off because I'm close and I have to go back and forth from Insta. To Facebook. Uh, okay. Instead. All right. So here's what I am putting on here. I'm putting the blood orange olive oil. I mean, could you use the basil? Sure. Could you use the lemon? Right. Sure. I'm using this one today. And I'm going traditional on the olive oil. So now I am going to just drizzle this here. I'm going traditional on the balsamic. Traditional on the balsamic. Yeah. Look how beautiful that is. And you're thinking, wait, fruit and savory? Yes. Fruit and savory is so delicious. When you add that incredible sea salt to this. Oh, so Holly said, I remember you also putting pistachios as well. Oh, you're so right, Holly. Thank you. Damn, wait, that's crazy. Holly. Oh, yeah. Are there any, do we have any pistachios, girls? Should I look? I In the door of the pantry? I think we have some that need to be peeled. Yeah. Yeah. I guess need to be shelled. Shell, shell a few. Yeah. Thanks, Holly. Somebody's, Somebody's somebody has been paying attention. And it's OG. Yeah. Okay. So then we want to season the top of this <laughs> and this. Okay. And then I want a nice little. Really not like it. 
How pretty is that? So this is part of your summer. If you want, you can make this larger, or you can make them individual like this. But you can do them like little little tea sandwiches size. Yeah, you could. Can I try to talk them? You can okay. talk these, or is it no. okay? I'll crack them here. This right. thing's heavy, so it's I'm so heavy. gonna. I can take a turn. I'm just eating. It's so good. It's gonna be a really good workout. Yeah, sorry, none of us are willing to break our eating. Yeah. Okay. Okay, sorry. You Here tell me go. when you're on. We're back. That's unbelievable. Okay. You Come ready? On, these are so good. Oh. It's so crazy good. All these flavors. Pistachios. This is this is such a showstopper. Bring it closer. Mm -hmm. Yum. It is such a showstopper. Wow, shut the front door. Look at everyone's silence. It's just so beautiful. <laughs> it really is. I have had a lot of you say that you made this and impressed some people. So April asks, what could you use instead of cheese? Just basil. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just just layer with the prosciutto in there and it'd be delicious. You could put lard on. You could put uh, you could put like peaches sliced flat if you wanted to do a different um, but I mean get creative. Like I said, sometimes I make it with ricotta and sometimes I make it with mozzarella. So she's she's very pretty. I'm not gonna touch her right now. We're not yeah. gonna eat her yet because she's too pretty. Yes. But I have a whole bunch more over here that I can make. But first, I want to also make you this pasta. Is the pasta ready? The pasta's ready. Oh, amazing. Okay, so. I'm sure I trust you. Can I like it more? Okay. Oh my God, can I do this part? Yeah. Here you go. so excited. No, but also. Bruce, can you? I can. I'm strong again. Wait, I can do it. I'm strong again. I haven't had a turn. Do I have to do this? Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay. Daisy's back. Daisy's back with another arm workout. Wow. Okay. This is apparently the greatest okay. sucrose pasta on the planet. It is, and yeah. with pesto. There's no That's also the most beautiful strainer I've ever seen in my life. Mm -hmm. Well, it was very inexpensive. I found it on Amazon. Just search for spider strainer. Spider Wait, that strainer is so. Yeah. Okay. Let's come over here. This looks like it's a French antique. No. Now we have something really, really not, important but... to do. Okay, ready? Right? <laughs> like, okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's really no, pretty. It this? Okay, so what we need to do, I'm going to okay. cut this chicken up to add to here, but you got to get this. Can I this do this? Right? Yes, you may. This is my favorite thing ever. And you know what it reminds oh, me of? It stretches, so. It reminds me of Zanny. So what you have to do, what Zanny taught me, is you have to wash your hands, get them really clean. And she used to do this every time she made pesto. It's my favorite thing she used to make. I'm sad now. <laughs> but she would go like this. Oh, really? Yes. Oh. She said you have to use your hands. It's the that only way to get it. Ow! Hard. It's fucking hot. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. What? Don't say that. What? <laughs> what? It's inappropriate. But like, I was in so much pain. <laughs> have you would never cursed in pain? Wait, <laughs> Okay, are you we all have that style everywhere. That's how you know it's okay, really here. good. Try, try, with, try with this because it's a little hot. Okay. I feel humiliated. I feel Wait, April's like asking. I could use a, a non-dairy cheese, correct? Wow, look at we this. don't use any. We're not using any cheese right now. No but cheese right now. When I oh, eat it, I'm going to add this. a mountain of Parmesan to this. I think that's even enough, Mom. <laughs> Look at how good this looks. Wait, like, everyone's, everyone's just sending the crying and crying. Are cheap. people mad? No, no. Is mad. I had I had a couple of people DM me because you Darlene said, can't put your hands in hot pasta. What DM me because I use the F. Yeah, when did I, I show. when did I use care. I usually am really conscious about swearing, so if I use the F word once, actually get off my ass. Seriously. Kidding, I'm kidding. I'm sorry. I'm saying no one's mad. <laughs> Someone said, "Shout it out, girl!" <laughs> Look at how beautiful. Okay, so that I'm going to add this chicken to the pasta. <laughs> no one's and... mad. Okay, look at that chicken. I'm going to add this up and cut this. And <laughs> okay, here we go. I brought a guest star. <laughs> 
Oh, oh. Yeah, they were asking. They were saying, where Little is Bunny? Little Boo. Little Bunny. <laughs> Like yeah. All I did. Caroline makes this for me every night. That's what. All I did was roast this with the Tuscan olive oil, and the Tuscan sea salt rub, and I cooked it at 350 for about an hour. I mean, depends on the size of your chicken breasts. And I'm going to roughly chop some chop some of this off and add it to the pasta. And it's going to be delicious. I cooked this on the bone because. I mean, you just get much better flavor when you cook it on the bone. If you want to make chicken breast without the skin and bone, it's a little easier, but you just don't get quite as much flavor. Caroline, they're asking, what is your Instagram? Oh, at Caroline Summers. C-A-R-O-L-I-N-E S-O-N. They're saying run your hand under cold yeah. water. No one yet has asked to see the No, they have. I'm so oh, they have? Aww. Bunny's getting a haircut tomorrow. Yes, it's groom day. It's groomer's day. I might need to put this down soon. Oh, you want okay, me to I'm about, the, I'm about here. to add. I'll switch. Okay, switch with me. Yeah, because I'm going to do the final touch on the pasta. Violet, if you want to help. Sorry, I'm just icing my hands a little bit. Are you burnt? Yeah, I actually am. <laughs> so, truth be told, a little dirty, dirty secret about Zanny. She actually was not a good dishwasher. Oh, that would make a lot of sense. She did cuss a lot. She did. That's her dirty oh, little somebody, secret. Somebody needs bunny. Okay. All right, here we go, guys. All right. This we is heavy. Let's go. Okay, here we go. Oh, man. Coming back over here. Pesto on that? Oh, oh, in the, in the chicken? Wait, yeah. in the pasta? Is that okay? Oh, it's, it's not very Italian, but it's fine. It's a chicken pesto oh, pasta. Really? It's very okay. summery. It looks good. I don't I mean, it looks really good. I never get chicken in Italy. Almost never get any kind of No, they of just usually in. serve it separate from the pasta. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to use a little bit of this Meyer lemon okay. olive oil. Oh, wow. To finish this? This is the best one. I've actually been using, like, pretty much a travel size, which I don't know why we even have travel size. It just brightens. <laughs> but I, no, it's the, it's the sampler. It's yeah. a travel size. <laughs> it is. It's a, it is travel size. Okay. I don't know why we have travel size. Okay. All right, Violet, let's everyone see. Everyone's really worried about your... your oh, problem. I'm fine. Thank you. That's nice of you guys to say something and to care. <laughs> Thank you. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm totally fine. <laughs> Could someone scratch the itch on my nose? <laughs> Where? Here? No, down. Right. Like, kind of more towards the nostril. Clean up. No, I'm not down. doing that. Clean up my bowl a little here. Wait, Kiara Mossy just said, tell me if I went too far, and I'm wondering what happened. Because I don't think it was. I saw something. <laughs> Oh, maybe it was. Sorry. I don't know. Okay. Oh, hi, Bunny. I am going to taste for seasoning. Oh, oh sorry. Sorry, Mom. Mm. Okay, needs a little salt. That looks delicious to me. What's Wait, delicious? Laura just said, lemon is, I'm assuming she's saying the best one. She said, I'll buy that next. I really love the orange, too. The blood orange is great. Little bit of red chili flakes. Danny yeah. always put a little bit of red chili in her pesto. Yeah. It just like brightens mm -hmm. everything. Janet Craig is asking, can we order the Meyer lemon olive oil price? Twenty-five percent off is the it price. It is. I think they're twenty-nine. At uh, Jill, what is the price of our olive oils? Are they thirty-nine ninety-nine? Basil twenty-five. Get 25 Basil twenty-five. You guys. Yeah, I can't remember. But it's on the website, suzannesummers.com. Okay, who's ready for a little of this? Here, you want me to take the camera? Gluten-free, dairy-free, yeah. but you can certainly add your cheese on here. Yeah. So that's what that's Lord what we would be doing. Say, okay, over here, Violet. Out a recipe book. It'd be so cool. Well, it's funny you ask because my mom actually has a book. It's called Show Me Your Boobs. Oh, served. served. Yeah. <laughs> my book is... Um, and you can get... I don't think this is my book there, is at CarolineSummers.com. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Cheryl just confirmed the olive oils 
in Balsamics, $39.99. And today, it is 25% off. Get them all. Site-wide, with promo code BASIL25, that's 25% off anything that's not already discounted more than 25%. want to put it in the little holder? Perhaps. Amazing. Would that be Okay. Who, uh, Daisy, you want cheese, right? I don't want any pasta. Actually. Oh, that's right. You're not eating pasta. Okay. The girls, you don't want cheese, no. so... I don't know how to do this. No, because it's supposed to be the other way. Uh-oh. Hold this. Sorry. I feel like when whenever we kind of do that with the oh, camera, you know it kind of feels like we're on the Star Trek. You know what's going to happen? At Disneyland. I'm going to have to eat it myself. That's what's going to happen. Okay, but we're not even getting reaction shot yet. Wait, okay, well, we're I was... putting this. Heartbreak is one thing. Mm. Perfect. Mm. Unbelievable. That's really good. Okay, who would who's ready for some? I'm gonna have more salad. Is that okay? Of course. Mm. Wow. We're keto. Oh, please. No, we're keto. Okay. Wow. That is so good. Okay, here we go. No, just give me a new plate. New plate. Okay, Violet, do you want to try some? Um, I'm okay right now. Amelia, do you want some? Yes, please. Okay. So. That is our that is our pesto basil extravaganza today. You can also serve this room temp, obviously with or without chicken, obviously with or without cheese. Totally up to you. Here you go, baby. Me? Yeah. Camellia. Thank you. Come over here. Can I eat a piece of chicken? So delicious, of course. There's a whole chicken right here. Do you want do you want? Mm-hmm. Yum. Isn't that good? Are we worried about buns? Oh, Bunny loves the patio. Bunny we're boo? All, we, are always, we always go out there with her. Oh, yes. Hawks. This is so good. Come mm. on, friendly. All right, you guys, so that is, that's our show today. Yum. 25% off, promo code hey, BASIL25 <laughs> at SuzanneSummers.com. You guys want to come in and do a... Bunny. Go oh, come here, my girl. Come here, girl. Thanks for coming, guys. Hi. Yeah. Like, so she's fun. She's cringing. She does a little she, zoom. She session. does zoomies. All right. Thanks for joining thanks for us, joining everyone. Us. Bye. Thanks. Happy Friday.